Okay, for today's optional project in Kodu for your computer science lessons, again, I emphasize the fact that it is optional. We're going to make a football match. With the football match, the game, uh, you're going to have to program the actual individual players. It's going to be two players, so we're going to be a bit more advanced on that one. We're going to be using variables a lot. Now, variables are basically data that are being held. Um, almost in, I, I, when I teach this normally is in a box so the data holds in a box we're going to use the uh, variable score to obviously calculate the scores I'm going to make my football pitch so those are the little objectives I'm going to make the football pitch very quickly I'm going to pause the video at one point here so that I can actually just make it all and remember you need to go to uh, Kodu is uh, free to download off the internet it uh, only works on PC, does not work on Macs, you can't get a Mac version, so if you've got a PC, you can download it, type in code into Google, it's the first link, uh, it's easy to download, not too bad, you need Windows really though for it. Okay, so I'm just going to make it, here it is, uh, if I go to the home screen, uh, just go to, you can make a new world, click on a blank one, and here you go, here's the landscape tool, you can choose different colours, so if I click on here, I can choose different colours, I'm just going to do a pitch at the moment, and then obviously you can just put left click to actually make it, if you want to delete something out, you right click it, and I'm going to make my pitch, I'm going to make the stand itself, now with the stand, I'm going to use this flat tool, I'm going to use different colours on my landscape, so let's just do... Uh, da, 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 a greyish colour over here I'll do a, a stadium all the way around it and I'll do it properly now and I'll get back to you in a second I'll just show you the hill as well I might use a flat hill just to pop up maybe a little stadium going around so it's just I want the bit the green bit to be the flat section I'm going to do it nice and neat in a second okay okay so here's my football pitch as you can see, I've done what I said before then. I've coloured in, though, uh, the two sides. Because I'm going to use the colours as part of the actual... When the ball hits the colours, then the score goes up. I've put a slight uh, hill surrounding all the way around the edge so the ball doesn't fall out. Um, and I've obviously got my pitch in the middle. So I've just used the different colours. I did have to, and here's a little tip, when you click on the colours... Uh, you choose your colours, whatever. Okay, vibrant colours for the the pitch, uh, the actual goals is really good to have because it's really obvious. Then you can notice up here there's some shortcuts. So you can press the left or the I'll use this one, the left or the right arrows to change the brush sizes. So it makes it a bit easier when you're doing the hills around the edge or you're just doing the actual pitch itself. Okay, so now we're going to put in the actual objects. I did use the hand tool to move around as well. I remember if you right click you can rotate so left click is move around right click is to rotate and when you're on the hills and the landscape if you right click it deletes it if you're on the hill right click actually pulls the actual hill down so I'm going to put in my objects now so I'm going to put in a uh, let's go get a ball so there's the ball Okay, we're going to need that we're going to need two players so I'm going to have to put in uh, again I click on the object there uh, the character and then I click to where I want to place the character so I want to place it there so let's just click off it again it's not quite working there we go I'm going to use uh, two rovers let's do use two rovers there's one rover if I and I'm going to click over here and do another rover so there's two players I might want to colour them in actually so I'm just going to click on him once and you can see the colours across the top here okay I'm just going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard I'm going to colour him red to make him obvious I'm going to colour him blue and uh, right so I need to program so I right click remember I always have the character one selected so I can actually select the objects over here so I'm going to program him so when I press on the keyboard plus the arrows I'm going to make him move that one's done press escape to get out let's just program him so when you press the keyboard and the arrows are oh I don't want the arrows I want because it's two player I want WASD so someone's using the other side of the keyboard and then I want to move done exactly the same on both now the big one that we need to program is the ball okay so we do it from that point of view so from the balls point of view so when the ball hits the red type for instance I want the red team to be scored so we're going to use variables and the score goes up by one if the blue so if the blue one hits the red one then or the other vice versa the red one hits the blue one over here then obviously the score goes up so I'm going to program these okay so right click on the ball program 
So what I want to do is on the more section, there's on land. Okay, so when it hits on the land, so when it hits on the types, on the red, let's see the red one first, I want it to do a score. So it's called game stuff. Uh, I want to put the score up, so plus it. And I want it to go to. Da, 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 I want it to add. Uh, I want it to be in red on that one. So if the score type goes on the red though, I want it to be scored to the blue one. And I want it to be put up by points by one point, one goal. So the ball hits the land. If it hits the red one, then the score is going to be obviously for the blue person. Okay, and it goes up by one. And let's program the other one now. So more on land when it hits the type of the blue one. I want it to then do a score game score plus. I want it to go to the red side and I want to do a score by one. Okay. Then the last thing that we have to do on this one then is actually win the game for someone and we can choose so if I do when scored okay uh, let's do the red player first so when they get it then it's going to be game win and I'm going to do the colors so if he's got to it I'm going to go to red I need to just put in his score okay so that should be that should be fine actually oh, it's just different colors okay um, right and let's do the score so go back scored for the blue one and it's gonna win for them and it's gonna be for blue Okay, I just noticed one thing. I am going for the video quite quick because I don't want it to be a massively long video. So, obviously, this red score going up, it needs to have a value because at the moment it's just getting one each time it goes onto the red on the land um, or the blue on the land. So, the red scored doesn't really mean anything at the moment unless I compare it to something. And I want it to be an end goal. So, I want to figure out how many goals they need to have for the win, uh, red one to win. So, what I need to do is click on the plus, I need to compare. And then I want to say when it's equal to a certain value. So it's adding one each time. So then you can just choose what value you want it to be on the points. So I might want them just to get three goals. And if that's the case, then I'll just click on the three here. So when the score red is equal to three, you can pause the video if you need to. So I won't go over the, the little intrinsic details of the actual title screens for each one. But when it equals to three, then I want red twin. So I need to do the same again here. So if I compare and do equal to, and then points and three, then that wins for the blue. So we're going to just test it. Um, I'm going to test it with the one character at the moment. OK, I've just forwarded in time a little bit just to get the board so it's quicker for the video. So I'm just going to, um, if it helped to click on there, I'm just going to move it forward. There you go, wins, and it goes through. So it is working perfectly fine. What I had to just do, just to make sure it's all working a little, little bit better, click on the characters, right click on here. I changed the settings. You can change the settings for each of the different players. Uh, turning up the speed and the turning circle really helps for you to get around, basically. So there you go. You've got um, variables working so that the actual score is being done. You've got an objective. You've got um, the obstacle is just basically getting the ball into the actual goal itself. And you've got two players as well. And remember, if you change, you know, if you do one thing on one, you need to do it on the other. You can add in other stuff as well. So some extras. You can have them firing or shooting. Those are in previous videos as well. You could have a bigger football pitch. You could have other obstacles in there. So you could put other characters that get in the way. So you could have a bit of a gauntlet as well. You can go mad with it as well. Just have a bit of fun. But there you go. There's your little project. Half an hour for this week. Um, have fun. Okay.